Okay, this video is over the topic finding a difference quotient for a linear or quadratic function. So the difference quotient formula is f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And the idea here is to one, figure out what this expression looks like, and then two, to simplify this expression. And you're only finished simplifying once you have been able to cancel this factor h in the denominator, okay? So for the first example, it's a linear function, and for the second example, it is a quadratic because of the x squared. So we're gonna go ahead and do both of these. So in order for me to figure out what the x plus h expression looks like, what I need to do is plug in x plus h wherever there was an x in the original function. So this x will become x plus h. And every time you plug something in, it's always helpful to use parentheses so that you can keep everything straight and be able to um, simplify it better or correctly. So I here I have negative x, negative h plus two. Whereas if I didn't use the parentheses, it would look like this. And then notice the middle term has the wrong sign, right? So it's very important that whenever you plug in the x plus h, that you do put it in parentheses, okay? And so then now I have an expression for f of x plus h, and I have an expression for f of x. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So the expression for x plus h is going to be negative x negative h plus two, and the expression that I'm going to plug in for f of x is going to be negative x plus 2. And the whole thing goes over h. This is the difference quotient for this function. Now if I go ahead and simplify this, now notice there's no number to multiply in the front, and there's no exponent here to apply, so I don't really need that first set of parentheses. However, in the second set of parentheses, notice it does have a negative in front, and I do have to multiply that. So when I do multiply this negative, I get positive x and a negative two. And so then notice here that the negative x and the positive x will cancel, the positive two and the negative two will cancel, and what I'm left with is negative h over h. Now here, the h's can reduce, so then I or reduce that h that was in the denominator. Okay, now let's go ahead and consider another function, and this one is a quadratic. So we're gonna see how that plays out. So the same thing as the previous problem, you definitely wanna find out what the expression of x plus h looks like. So for this one, I'm going to be plugging in x plus h here and here. And each time I do it, I need to make sure that it's in parentheses. So x plus h and then the square plus 3 times x plus h. Now this one requires a lot more simplification than the previous problem, okay? So for this problem, I am going to have to apply my exponent first and square this. If I take this expression times itself, because that's what a square itself, the other one I'm just going to rewrite, um, I do have to complete this first to finish applying that square. So I get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared after I FOIL it and combine my like terms. Once I'm done finally um, applying that square, then I'm going to go ahead and multiply. And in this case, I'm distributing the 5 to these three terms, and I'm distributing the 3 to this two terms. So I end up with 5x squared plus 10xh plus 5h squared plus 3x plus 3h. And now that it's all simplified, that is going to be the expression that I use when I'm writing the difference quotient. So the first thing is to put that expression in front.
and then subtract the original function all over h. And again, same as before, there's nothing in the front, no exponent to apply, so I don't really need that first set of parentheses. And then here I do have to distribute the um, negative. So I get negative 5x squared and negative 3x still over h. And then the 5x squared positive and minus 5x squared will cancel. The positive 3x and negative 3x will cancel. And I'm left with this expression. And I still have the h in the denominator that I need to um, simplify. So what I do notice is that every single term that is left over does have an H in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor that H out. So if I factor the H out, I have 10X here. If I factor one H out, I still have an H. And if I factor that H out, I just have plus three. Then the H that I factored out and the H in the denominator can reduce or cancel. And so then what I'm left with is this expression 10x plus 5h plus 3, which cannot be simplified anymore. None of those are like terms, so it cannot be combined. That is the final expression there for this function, quadratic function.